Okay. Well, now Raw is over. And this is not the blonde bombshell yet. This is Donna. So, um, Donna is here to deliver, as promised, the stipulations to what I previously mentioned. A few nights ago, well, actually it's been about four now, um, a bombardment happened in a chat room. Um, not that I, nothing I couldn't handle, but anyway, a friend made me realize that I need to rewrite and reword my expectations, better known as the ultimatum. This is what I want, I need, and expect to happen on or before October 22nd. First and foremost, I want everyone to know, including, but most importantly, him, that I've examined closely the past eight years. After some of those comments that were made in that chat room, I, I went through all of our ups, our downs, all of the faults through the fights, and it wasn't all you, but yet it wasn't all me. Does that make sense? Now, I want to get you to thinking here, because you see, I was told in that chat room some very painful and hurtful remarks. They may or may not have come from you or her, but they cut deep. And I don't want to remember that. What I want to remember is the happy times of you and me. In fact, I want to go back to when there was a video made by one of my friends. Um, she made a Stefan Triple H video, and I played it all the time. I'm sure you remember this, but just to remind you. It was a Reba McIntyre song, I'll Go On Loving You. I would uh, even sing that song sometimes to you while we were on the phone, that through all the baby don't leave me's and the never will again's and I promise to's, we always made it work. What do I need? I guess just to know that you're happy. If you are, fine. I won't bug you anymore. It's a clean break. But if you regret your decision, if you have any hope, like I do, that this can work, then I need to know. And for me, I have set a date and a time. October 22nd, Mattoon, Illinois. Now, there's a wrestling show in town that night at the Burgess Auditorium. I'm sure you've seen some of the promos on, on the web. And uh, more than anything, you promised me to meet me after eight years in October. And you always kept your promises. You never lied to me. And in my heart of hearts, I truly know that even though I know what you're thinking right now, this is a breakup. Are we really broken up? Are we really over? I'm posing the question to you. I've examined our past. I would like to look ahead to the future. And I still believe that we could have a future. What am I expecting? A lot. In all seriousness, um, do you remember the last fi our first five years when my family found out about you and I wanted to throw in the towel? Do you remember what you said to me? You said, I'm so happy to call you mine. I'm proud that we don't have to hide anymore because I kept you hidden. That was my fault. That was me. Okay? Because I knew they wouldn't understand. And that was underestimating my family. So that wasn't fair to my family or to you. So that was my fault. I'm taking blame where blame is due. But you reassured me then. You told me that my worried mind was to be at rest because let them think what they want about our age difference. What mattered most was us. You told me a love like ours was one of a once in a lifetime and you shouldn't turn your back and run from it. We have seen our share of struggles, our fair share of fights, 
but can't you see what only these struggles and fights only makes two people stronger you fought for us then and I'm returning the fight now I pray that this fight is not too late you made a promise Mike you made a promise face to face in October you also made a promise on virtualval.com all I'm asking for is one chance you know I believe in signs guides to tell you that this is the right thing to do well last night I went to one of these kooky sites you know where you put in and find out what the fortune is I asked it if you would be here October 22nd it said it was a good fortune also at work today I had um, a reminder of you twice Hess gas station and St. Michael Church of something or other it was one right after another while I was sitting there thinking out what to say again October 22nd it's a wrestling show here in Mattoon Burgess Osborne Auditorium I would love to have you there more than anything by yourself working this out as mature adults if that's not possible I I really hate surprises because some surprises don't always end well I want you to know this from me that it doesn't matter what you've done why we've been apart because we weren't together but I love you for who you are the man you want to be quite kind of Jerry Maguire ish isn't it your tattoos are just skin deep your long hair you were right Triple H has long hair Drew McIntyre has long hair so why should I have a problem with your long hair I shouldn't again I know they're my fantasy men and you became my reality I'm proud of you as just as you said that to me you didn't care about my weight then or my age you love me for who I was then to the very end and I'm so sorry I am sorry that you ever felt that you weren't good enough because of your tattoos your hair your drinking you can drink with your buddies I don't care you can hang with your friends I never told you that you couldn't if you can't make it but you want to make us work at all I need to know on or before October 22nd Mike if you ever hear Steve Holy's love don't run please think of me remember love don't run love don't hide love don't turn away or back down from a fight and I need to hear from you that we can either make this work or it's done but until October 22nd I'm still saying baby I'm right here and I ain't going anywhere I love you I trust you completely think it over I don't want you to make a hasty decision I want this to be your decision and your decision alone I'm not pressuring you you need to know about all the options you have in life weigh them out and make the right decision for you that's what I expect of you that's my ultimatum to you do what's right for you not anyone else not for me not for some other missy not for wrestling but for you and if this is the end I'll accept it I will finally accept it but one way or another it is killing me waiting to hear if the last chance because believe it or not this is the last chance I'm giving us the last chance of hope because I do need to move on if you can't if you can't find it in your heart to make us work so this is heartfelt for me I I uh, I don't usually get too emotional 
but I have been rather an emotional roller coaster since August 16th. I can't say much more than you have my heart, you have my soul, just as you did then, and 110% trust. You said I didn't trust you enough. I couldn't have trusted you more then than I do right now. And the reason being, I trusted you because you had 900 miles between us. And I was always honest and faithful and forthright with what was going on here. But that chat room was very hurtful. They said a lot of things, and I don't know if it was you, if it was her, if it was some person trying to be mean, but attacking someone's weight when they're on a diet, that's wrong. Going after the relationship when they weren't involved in the relationship was wrong, because I don't believe that party was involved. I believe that that party was an outside party making very cruel statements. And that's all I'm going to say tonight. So, again, the ball is in your court. October 22nd is it. Make it work. Don't make it work. It's up to you. I would love to make it work. That's where I stand. Where do you? Where do you?